peoples. Here's the husband. Hi. 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 I just left the hair salon. If you cannot tell, I got probably how much? How many inches? About two. About two inches cut off. Cody said there's a piece like this on the floor. I had a tail growing in the back. I had a long piece. It was like my hair was in like an extreme V. Probably from where I was. I think I've trimmed it myself. You know, when you trim it yourself, you pull it to the front. Which means you're over directing it. So that piece is like super long in the back. So I'm pretty sure that's why. Because I only get it professionally done once a year. <laughs> so, um, and it's normally for our anniversary. But I do like how solid it is because it makes it look fuller as it falls down but it does look very healthy for those of you that have never seen my hair straightened here you go I'm actually on the way to mama's to do some hair um, it is Friday which I just I know I'll have the date to go up on this because I've been doing that and I like it but um um, we pretty much beat the hurricane as far as moving more inland um, if you've been keeping up with everything but by the time this goes up all the hurricane craziness will be over with so we're not going to really talk about that but um it looks good here there's no damage um, I hadn't really got here yet it's supposed to get here on Saturday Saturday, so, Saturday night so Sunday morning we'll be heading to Florida Lord Wheeling so, um, I'm gonna go do some hair. Just thought I'd check in. Um, won't do much vlogging, but I wanted to go ahead and check in. And, um, I have a wedding tomorrow, so I probably won't be vlogging tomorrow. And then we'll go ahead and we'll vlog some more Sunday as we're riding down to Florida. So, yeah. Just wanted to show you guys my hair. You can tell I don't get it done often. So, that is all. Hello, guys. Sorry about the lighting, but we are currently at an evacuation shelter. <laughs> Just in case you think I am lying. <laughs> we are in... West Bladen High School's gymnasium. So here's what happened today. Um, we had the wedding. This is Saturday. I'm sure I'll put the, the date. Uh, as you know, Hurricane Matthew <laughs> just, you know, been hovering over here on the coast. We do live near the beach, but like, you, like I said yesterday, um, we came down to Mama's because I had a wedding today. So the wedding was sort of in between um our house and mama's house was sort of like north like northeastish i don't know how to explain it anyway um and cody's like acting like he's asleep anyway um so it was about an hour from mama's and about an hour from my house to get there so we drove um when i say we i mean cody cody drove me to the wedding this morning the roads were the roads were good. Nothing was we didn't pass over anything that was flooded. A lot of people's yards and stuff were flooded, but um, none of the roads were bad. No trees or anything was down. So we came home, went to the wind. The power cuts off like immediately after I finished my very last clients. So I was like, y'all see what God's done for us? He at least let us finish all y'all's hair because I couldn't curl nobody's hair without power. So he let us finish all of that power was off for a good little while and then right before we started the ceremony it came back on and it stayed on for the whole ceremony so i was like this is such a blessing so we got doing doing all of that and then we got back in the vehicle and was trying to head back home well we had already heard that um about all these flooded out roads and washed out roads coming back from like our house so um you know we already knew then if there was no way for us to get to Pembroke there was no way we were going to get to our house so um because 74 they said was bad I don't know exactly what parts of 74 but I'm assuming majority of 74 so um we started going down 87 and um my makeup partner she had left probably hours before I had even because we stayed for the whole ceremony and um, I texted her and asked her which way she went just to see if, like, what what roads were clear. 
and um she was sitting at a gas station stuck on the side of 87 because everything was flooded at this point um if it wasn't flooded then there were trees or power lines or something down in the road so there was something covering everywhere so there was literally nowhere for us to go um so we sat there we called AAA, try to see if they could have somebody give us somewhere to go or like what way to go and there weren't nobody that could help us so i started looking up evacuation shelters trying to find something that was near us and then i called 911 to tell us um where the closest one was to me because we were in tar hill if you're familiar with the area but um we're here at west bladen high school we've been here for four hours maybe um lady is with mama she's okay mama's power is out um so and the power here is out their generators kicked on so these emergency lights or whatever's on but um i did have a little power bank to charge my phone but i just used all of it so <sighs> hopefully they'll be out here shortly cleaning up some roads at least just the main highways for us to be able to get back home we're supposed to be leaving in the morning still playing that by ear I don't know so it's gonna be a long night I probably am not gonna go to sleep but obviously he is so we shall see We had it clear this way, but we do not. Well, guys, it's Sunday. What time is it? Morning, six, uh, six feet seven. So we left the shelter. Um, hoping that they would have some of these trees up. They did, they had some of them up. Not all of them. Which ones to have up? Just the one at the crossroads. So we got on 41. We were able to go around a couple of trees. Like off the road. Off. Get back on the road. Why do I have hiccups? I thought it was in the clear. So we went around two trees. We can't go around this one up here. So at this point. We're just talking. No water. We're sitting ducks. We're just sitting on the side of the road. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know what we're going to do. I hope the fairies can come through here and pick this tree up. But that's a big one. And it took down part of this power line. What time is it? It's 9.30. We have made little to no progress. I slept a little bit in the in the truck. Just when we thought we were sort of kind of good to go down 41, we got to a certain part and the bridge is, oh, that's just rushing with water and you can't see the road. They said some police had just drove through there, but one of them got stuck and had to pull him out. So, that's not happening. But, silver lining. That's if we can actually <laughs> get gas. But, this marathon possibly is the only gas station around that's about to open. So, everybody and their brother and sister and grandma and cousin is here trying to get gas. <laughs> so, we have a half a tank, but if we can get gas, it would be a very smart idea if we go ahead and get it now. Well, guys, <laughs> I have called and canceled our hotel reservations. Here's Mr. Lockley over here in all his glory. This is where the wedding was yesterday. Yes, we are back at the wedding venue. <laughs> well guys, at this vineyard, they have like, sort of like a petting zoo, I wanna say. 
This is the only animal kingdom I'm gonna get, so I'm just basking in the ambience. Also, I'm looking out for this little chicken over here. I ain't trying to get her to get my ankles. Look at the emperor. Look at the emperor in his new grave. You see, there's another one on the ground. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you guys. It's a miracle. <laughs> um, thank God for these schools in place, these evacuation shelters. Because from what we've seen, people's yards and stuff i have no idea we seen people people's yard water was all the way up to like the base of their window like way over the tires there's there's people that have died that have drowned it's it's sad but it's amazing though that people died and drowned no, that we're still here. Hadn't made it home yet. Hadn't washed her nads. <laughs> Coconuts. But we are very blessed, and I'm going to start crying, so. <laughs> I'm going to change my shoes now. <laughs> okay, guys. Figured I would check in. Um. We're currently in Lumberton. We have made progress. We decided not to go, not to try to go back that way, <laughs> to try to go this way. So instead of trying to go to our house, um, we decided to try to come to Mama's because um, we talked to a, a nurse that was at the hospital in Lumberton and she was like, you're, you're better off trying to go this way than that way. So um, we get some very bad, very, very bad spots home to 11. Would you like to elaborate on it? More in it. Yeah, He's maybe, lying. Maybe it was a little bad. It was so bad. There was like, um, we went over some bridges and the water was rushing by, like rushing off to the side. And the water was up to the bridge. So all of this was, how, how, th how deep do you think that water was that was standing? constant that was running across a little over a foot we were going about seven miles per hour um i don't know how i could tell you that because of all the tears that were flowing down my face because i was profusely crying because i was deathly afraid and i was praying and talking to god the entire time and then after i got over it then i was crying because god had led us through it so Many tears have been shed during Hurricane Matthew. We have been on this one road <laughs> for two hours. At least two hours. We're just trying to get to the service road to get to 74 to get to Mama's house. Um, she has, they've started cooking. They um, went outside and started cooking on the grill. Of course, it's all sunshiny and everything, but there's still some road damage. Quite a bit of water standing, so. Um, nothing is open, nowhere has gas. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're at a quarter of a tank. Are we below a quarter of a tank? We're at a quarter of a tank. We just need enough to get to Mama's. And we'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. We just need to get to Mama's. So. I honestly think North Carolina got it worse than Florida. Water-wise. Water-wise. And damage-wise. Water can, I think water caused way more damage than the wind. Wind's gone. Once wind's gone, it's gone. The water, honey, it's just taking forever. It's washed roads away. Wind can't blow a road away. Roads are gone. Like I said in my fair vlog, they're disappearing. Even more's disappeared. So if you get on Facebook and Snapchat, you can see all the stuff that people are posting and um, pretty much keeping everybody updated. But what really sucks and it's just, it's kind of rude. And I say kind of trying to be nice is that people that are just out wanting to be nosy and see what's going on instead of staying at home because they're stopping and they're getting in the way of these, of these people. When I say these people, we are part of these people that have been trying 
for 24 hours to get home. We're not trying to be nosy. I could care less what the road looks like. I just want to get home. So these people that are just out, just here to take pictures and be seen and post stuff. Y'all need to be home. Be respectful. Something could happen to y'all out here trying to look for mess. So y'all need to be careful. Even though, of course, this is going to go up after all this. So, you know. We're still in Lumberton, y'all. We've been here for four hours. On the same road. We finally got to the part where the water's at. We made it to Mama's. I will insert a clip of us coming home from my Snapchat because I didn't get anything on video, so I'll just put a video snap. You're your daddy. <laughs> Cody's on the phone with one of our neighbors right now, trying to figure out what's going on with our house. If the lights are off, how high the water's up. If we're able to get to our house, but we still don't have power at Mama's. Um, we do have water, um, and the beauty of all of this is the weather. It has cooled off tremendously. My hair feels amazing. I have been waiting for this for so long. This is our YouTubers. They have been checking on us on Instagram. Awesome. On YouTube. Trying to make sure we Thanks alive. Thanks for the prayers that you sent up, honey. Praise Because God. it got us home. Yes. We were literally... Praise it literally God. took 30 hours for us to get here. And we were an hour away. <laughs> and it took us 30 hours. You were actually not at well. Yeah, we were that well in Elizabethtown, that was an hour away. And then was yesterday, right it took us six hours to get. Uh, it took us six hours to get um, from Lumberton to Pembroke. If you're not familiar with the area, that normally takes 20 minutes, and it took us six hours. The water was up to the top of our tires, and we have an SUV. We have a Durango, so it was all the way up. There were cars going through that water, and I thought I had seen some bad water. At least that water wasn't, like, rushing really bad because that first water we went through where I had my panic attack, that was bad. It was like rushing really fast. And we got to a certain point over that bridge and we seen a truck nosedived into the water. Cody was like, don't look at it. Don't look at it. And he says, if something happens, just get out of the sunroof and just hurry up and grab a tree. Because I can't swim. I can swim, but all of that, I would have not been able to swim. So he would. He said, just wait on me to get to you. But praise God, we made it. Um, so happy <laughs> we made it. We watched Wreck-It Ralph last night, one of my favorite movies, if you didn't know. But um, we are about to head to Rockingham, which is the only city, like, I guess, near us. I know there's more, but I guess one of the closest ones. Go We're, okay, going through Lomberg to see if they have gas. And um, all of Rockingham is supposed to be with power. So they have food, gas, you know. So just wanted to check in and let you know what was going on. This is going to be the longest vlog of life. But that's what Hurricane Matthew does. We all took a whore bath this morning, by the way. <laughs> if y'all don't know what a whore bath Jean, is. Jean. The person who we do not name. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, we all took a whore bath. What that means is, you know those whores when they have to go in between their men? Know. That's what it is. Well, they go in between their men, they go to a thing. gas station, and they clean their self going. off, and they go on. Well, when you ain't got no power, and we just finally got some water in the sink, but it's just cold, you got to do what you got to do. You wipe your creases. I know I keep it. Well, you know what I mean. You got. I keep it real on here. That's why y'all love me. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're heading out. Put matches down in the. Yes, matches. I've been making the list of stuff we need. Matches. So. Matches. Pee.